Coral reefs are among the world's most beautiful natural wonders. These ecosystems are made of countless tiny coral polyps that slowly secrete the rock that makes up the individual coral colonies. Many large colonies today took hundreds if not thousands of years to form. They provide a natural barrier against storms and hurricanes for nearby coastlines, protecting the beaches and the people that live there. They support the highest number of species on the planet, providing homes for a multitude of other life forms. Despite the plethora of life that these natural wonders provide, the corals themselves are dying. Scientists have studied this problem for decades. They concluded that factors like global warming, disease, storms, and overfishing are key in the world's loss of coral reefs. Global warming causes disease in the coral, storms destroy weaker parts of the reef, and overfishing causes competitors of the coral to take over. Seaweed and sea sponges are the coral's main competitors, particularly on Caribbean reefs. When coral dies, it is mostly replaced by seaweed, claiming what was once the coral's territory and preventing new corals from forming. This is where we introduce our hero, the parrotfish. Parrotfish get their name from the parrot-like beak that they use to eat food from the surface of coral reefs. Parrotfish are known to eat the invasive seaweed, so scientists established Marine Protected Areas, or MPAs, to prevent overfishing of seaweed-eating fish. Now, did the MPAs have an effect reducing the seaweed? To answer this, a group of scientists headed by Dr. Joe Pollock traveled to several coral reefs in Florida, the Bahamas, and the Caribbean. They set out to test the hypothesis that overfished reefs would have more competitors than coral. The results were surprising. Seaweed populations oddly remained unchanged. However, they did learn that corals that were not protected were three times more likely to be smothered by their other competitor, sea sponges. Sponges look a lot like plants but they are in fact animals, feeding by pumping water through their bodies and retaining food particles. Despite their docile nature, sponges have an incredibly aggressive spread rate. Luckily for the coral reefs, not only does our friend the parrotfish eat seaweed, it also eats sponges, placing among many other important sponge predators like the angelfish. Even with the MPAs, the coral did not win its intended battle against seaweed, although the MPAs did help by protecting the parrotfish controlling the sponge population. So, what can we do to help coral reefs like those in the Caribbean? We can support new laws that protect our friend the parrotfish so that they can help tip the competitive balance back in favor of the corals.